wanted to cover this topic because time and time again, I see, you know, on social media, on TikTok, that's like, oh, you know, you can't love someone until you love yourself and blah, blah, blah. Or they try telling people, you know, how to love themselves or, or basically, you know, if they can't love themselves, then, you know, they're going to be stuck in this whirlpool of problems. And now I think that it's incredibly like, there's no other word for this, face it, right? It's face it. Your face it for tell somebody like, all right, you know, you need to love yourself if you want to find love. It's really hard with the world that we live in, with all the pressures around us, especially to be a woman. Now, there are so many different views on what a woman should look like. I mean, take me for example. I realize that I live in a society where I really can't please anyone. I was super skinny when I was 18 and I was Miss Belize and I was too skinny. I was MAGA. Uh, they used to make fun of me in school. And so then I got myself into bodybuilding, um, spent the last 10 years of my life devoting it to that sport. Did amazing, great, won competitions, got a great body. I was huge. And um, at that time, I think the heaviest I had been is 134. And then it was, oh, you're too big. You look like a man. And so then I gave up bodybuilding. I got myself into CrossFit and, and Olympic weightlifting. And um, I maintained 55 kilos because that's my weight class. It's about weight class in Olympic weightlifting. And um, then I had my surgery. And then it became, you're too small. I'm like, you when you're thicker. Yeah, well, when I was thicker, you told me that I looked like a man. You told me that I was too big. You told me that I needed to be smaller. When I was too small, I was too small. So you know what I realized? You can't please anyone. You know, I don't know what the key to happiness is, but the key to success is pleasing everyone but yourself. I mean, the key to failure is pleasing everyone but yourself. Like you can't focus on pleasing everyone. And I think that it's very like face it, like the audacity of people to tell others, oh, you know, find love until you love yourself because self love is a very, very, very hard thing to do. And everyone in this world struggles with it. You could be the most beautiful woman in the world and you still struggle with you have your insecurities and you still struggle with self-love. I mean, and like I said, you know, um, there are so many magazines and so many beautiful women on social media and so many filters and so many things right now, so many surgeries and so many enhancements and, and it's so hard to keep up in a world where there's just so much. I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm frustrated. Like I've gotten to a point in my life and this is being very personal publicly where I feel like this is one of the most insecure times of my life. I mean, I obviously had to get a surgery and so my, my quad atrophied. We knew that that would happen. Um, I'm still training. I'm still doing what I can. No lower body, just upper and core, still doing everything. And because of the pills that I've been taking, um, that I've been taking, I had a bad breakout on my neck and my back. And um, I've spent since like going under the knife until now trying to get these fucking breakouts to go away and it's been the hardest time for me on top of that like the vitamins that i'm taking got me a little bit hairier and i was already hairy and um not to mention the muscles which was the only thing that i had going for me kind of disappeared um all expected because i can't train the way i used to and so with that comes my confidence and my self-esteem and then you put people in the mix where they're like, oh, you know, you really small, you really lose a lot of weight, like women like you and you're bigger. Yeah, well, what can I really do right now at this point until I'm given the full clearance? Like, you really can't please anyone, you can't. And so, um, I'll be honest, I am fully capable of loving others. I have the most love in the world for my niece and nephew, for my sisters, my mom, my dad. Um, um, whatever partners I'm with at the time, I have so much love for them. There's nothing that I wouldn't do for them. I overextend myself. I make sure that I put their happiness ahead of my own. So don't tell me that I am incapable of loving someone else if I don't know how to love myself because um, that isn't true. But like I said, we live in a society where it's really, really, really hard to build up the self-confidence and you know not be so insecure about these things because People just seem so perfect on social media. I mean, you have women that are so gifted and blessed, like they have boobs and a small hip and big ass. And if 
it's not natural, it's surgery, and I think it's still beautiful. Whether it's natural or surgery, fuck, they look amazing. Lip fillers and like all kinds of stuff and beautiful lashes and like whatever, like Botox or whatever it is. There's so many things that like a woman or a person can do. And um, all of these things really put stress on other women who A, can't afford it, or B, even if they do get those things done, it might not enhance how they look and they have this expectation of, wow, if I do this, I'm gonna look like her. And guess what? I, Chriselle, will never look like Kim Kardashian. I will never look like any of these beautiful women that I follow. And I've spent a lifetime um, following and idolizing so many women on social media, so many. And um, I've realized that um, I'm not jealous of them. I've realized that I admire them for having this body and this spirit and these features that I will never have. But at the same time, that brings about so many different insecurities because um, if I look at these women and I idolize them, I can't imagine what my partner must be doing. Like, if I'm sitting here thinking, you know, like, wow, I can't compete with that. Like, she's really pretty. Like, I mean, why the heck would they want me when they're a woman like that? You know, like, I, I live in this toxic cycle in my head. And so I do rely on my partner, however, to provide me with that sense of security that I need to feel a little bit more confident. Because let me tell you, I've been in some really good and really bad relationships. The good ones where, to this day, I could tell you that like with my ex, I probably to this day, I'm the most beautiful woman that he's ever laid his eyes on. And I never felt that way. I don't know how he was able to do it. Maybe because out of this world filled with thousands and millions of women, he really just wanted me and that built my self-confidence up so much. Whereas you take a bad relationship, a relationship where there has been cheating and there has been distrust. Micro-cheating is a thing, by the way. Micro-cheating is essentially where um, your partner basically has relationships on social media, whether it's liking and commenting or messaging like other women as if um, he's not taken. Micro-cheating is absolutely a thing. And these little, little things from these negative relationships, um, they bring out the biggest insecurities because it's like people, like, like take me for example, people probably think, hmm, look how she looks, she all of that training and she all of this and all of that. She still can't keep her man. Well, let me tell you something. The only thing that's gonna keep a man is a man who wants to be kept. So with that being said, um, just have a little, just have a little empathy towards other people that are struggling with self love, because I know that I'm one of them, and um, it doesn't matter how many posts that I put up and how many fans I have and how many people are like you're beautiful and thank you by the way, thank you. It really, really does help. It doesn't matter how many times I do that and seek this validation from social media. Um, I really need to figure out how to build that up for myself. And I don't know if it's something from my partners that I'm lacking and with self, um, but I do a lot of journaling and a lot of self building. And I really just hope that this particular phase of my life will go away because I don't like it. Um, I could see why people wind up getting depressed. I could see why people get suicidal. You know, you get to a point where it's just like, I'll never be enough. But I've realized that you have to be enough for yourself no matter what. So with that being said, um, this is a long ass rant. It was very emotional, it was very honest. I hope what I've said, you guys can take something out of it and be your best selves. So have a great day and Merry Christmas and I hope I can keep up these vlogs.